Hey, it's Rion with Get Sexual Attraction videos here on YouTube in Los Angeles. Why the belief, I shouldn't have to do anything, women should just come to me, can actually really hurt you. So I've felt this before, I've really felt this strongly. And I've had different clients and people say, I'm sick of it, why aren't women just into me, why don't they just come to me? Well, actually, <laughs> that's what I can help you facilitate. Um, but there's some key things you have to understand first. Um, that energy, that vibe of they should just come to me, I'm not going to do anything, is generally going to keep you more disconnected from women. Even if you're traveling internationally to countries that generally have a more open feminine embodiment, where men are generally more comfortable around that and you know so it helps them to you know build relationships and so forth attract new relationships they can still be like and and this actually happened someone from canada met me in thailand one time it was kind of frustrated it's like i'm here ladies where are you at i'm here you got to show me i don't yeah, I'm not going to do anything, you come to me, kind of a thing. And then not many women were very responsive to that. Well, first of all, you got to change your vibe, your belief about it. What you want to do is facilitate connection, facilitate, logistically facilitate connection. And understand that there's so many things to say about this, but with women, generally, it's the nonverbal that you as a man have to be aware of. And even so, they're not always communicating their interest, even when they are interested in a man. So then it comes down to you to take the risk or not, which there is no risk when you come from a higher level of awareness. Um, but we're going off on some different angles here. So you want to change your vibe. Uh, to, uh, I'm here, you know, where, where are they at? Come to me kind of a thing. To instead constructing, creating, facilitating logistical dynamics with women that they actually can show up. So you're kind of leading the process of connection. Now, that can go into all kinds of different social dynamics of how to really facilitate that. Uh, which would further extend this. But you have to change that belief. Um, so that's one of the main things is really to understand that as a man, you have to take on an accountability. You want to facilitate. That's the main thing. Okay. So if you're in your city or another country and you're like, I'm sick of this, where's the women just come to me? Well, do the things that will actually facilitate that. Don't expect them to go out of their way to all of a sudden approach men. Because generally, unless it's in certain social dynamics, women aren't going to do that. You have to improve your ability to sense when they really are interested in communicating it non-verbally so that then you can approach. So that'll help facilitate connection. And then also maybe consider getting the mastery of approaching women when you don't know whether they're interested or not, but you can gauge their interest in that first 20 seconds to see if it's going to go anywhere. So you can always do more as a man to help facilitate things. When you value connection, you will do things to help facilitate it. And that can be online dating, social parties, friends of friends, social networking, groups, events. Uh, there's so many ways to meet women. Daytime, approaching, going out. And just keep building connection and, you know, acquiring, you know, different contacts and so forth. It's just social circles, uh, groups of people. Uh, that's its own subject that is really really the ultimate generality of what works. It's on levels by default far above the seduction industry. And that's generally where you're gonna meet the higher quality women anyways. But if you're the lone wolf, if you're taking the lone wolf dating approach, 
there are things you can do to facilitate things, but don't expect women to go out of their way. When they're showing the signs of attraction and interest, if you're not doing something with that, then you can't complain. Okay, you can't complain. When you're getting attraction, but you don't know how to get her number or Facebook or invite her somewhere or give her your number, Brent style, you know, if you aren't making that bridge yourself, then you can't really complain about it either. So if you're like that, where are the women? Ah, I'm frustrated. Then you got to facilitate things. If you think that, you know what? I am doing all this work. I would say that if you're really actually doing things to facilitate connection with women and they're not showing up, if they're not showing interest or following up with you or calling you or anything like that, then you should probably get coaching. Uh, to really get it resolved, but you'll probably have to work on your sexual presence so that women have sexual value and, and they want to be around you. So there's attraction because you could be doing all the logistical things and still nothing goes nowhere. You could be getting numbers and women don't follow up or anything because they didn't feel that sexual attraction with you, which is all about your sexual presence and how they feel as a response to that. Okay, so that's just some more insights. If you're the guy who's like, I'm tired of this, women just come to me. Well, do the things that will allow them to come to you. Start hosting house parties. There's all kinds of things that you can do to actually facilitate things. Change your vibe with that and be okay with leading things and bringing women into your reality. Don't expect them to cold approach you. Cause if you're relying on that, you could be waiting a long time unless you create more of those social dynamics. So create those opportunities anyways, you're going to have more women in your life. If you really want to, you can do this at any time, uh, anytime you want, create those bridges for women to get involved with your lifestyle. Uh, this is Rion and I'll talk to you later.